Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm Sister Iko by name. This is one of our members in sign language. She is deaf and dumb. After the prayer of the pastor, as he, we were trying to encourage them to talk, she tapped me and told me on Friday that she, had, uh, she got her healing, that she had been having stomach ache. The stomach ache lasted for three years. But after the prayer of the man of God on that Friday, as he, she went home that morning, she did not see the pain again. Since that time, there is no pain. So from there, I asked her, have you, been going to, have you ever gone to the hospital for the, the stomach problem? She said yes, she had been taking some medication, but no cure. But that Friday, since that day, there is no problem again. I'm here to return all the glory and honor to the Lord for what he has done for her in Jesus' name. Sister, wait. Let's yeah. the, Sister, yeah. wait. First, prepare. let the doctor explain. She's saying praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Abdominal pains of several years. God, after the prayer of the servants of God, right on these grounds, she has been completely healed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The, the next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise God for his... Okay, sorry, my name is Sister Happiness, Enyoha. I want to thank God for the deliverance and the healing he gave me on Thursday. I was among the first people that received the first miracle from the wonders of the cross. But I kept it still examining if it's really true because this thing has given me serious pain since i gave birth to this my baby the pain started after delivery with a swollen and since then till that thursday i received my healing it has been giving me serious pains like seriously i cannot walk when the pain starts a little small thing like this, it will be as if there is a stone on that upper of my navel. But to the glory of God, after the Thursday, um, everything, the man of God said, at the last amen. I placed my hand there, believing that the last amen, I received my healing, and I did. All glory and honor be to the Lord for the deliverance and healing he gave to me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our sister is just testifying of the goodness of God for healing her of para umbilical hernia. She had a swelling, a hernial swelling around her umbilicus during pregnancy. And as she testified, she usually had uncommon pains in that area. So excruciating was the power of God touched her in this crusade, and the Lord made her whole. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's gone and gone forever. Thank you. The next testifier.
Praise the Lord. My name is Brian Manuel Akban. I'm from the group of this tree, Econo region, Akwaibom State. So I want to thank God for what God has done in my life during the Divine Torch Crusade in Enuku. I was suffering for piles for over four years. I was taking some medication, but the problem was still persist. So by the grace of God, during that program, the Lord healed me. Not only that, I was, the second testimony, I was having the excess generating. So the thing was so disturbed. The thing started when I was at Agampa this year. So I have to call my wife and told her that this is what is happening and told my brother as well. So they told me that I should try and visit home, but I was unable to visit home. Then during the program, so God healed me. I think one of the programs, I have to, when I come to the church, during the short time that I entered the church, I just went out to generate about three times. And when I discovered that, that I would distract the attention of the congregation, I have to carry my chair outside the church to sit down so that I can have the uh, access to go and generate. Praise the Lord. So I didn't know that that was the last day God gave the devil a technical knockout. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Four years hemorrhoids and excessive urination technically knocked out by the power of God. The Lord will do your own in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, we still have several testimonies pouring in from the social media, and um, we are going to take a few of them quickly before we return to the state of us here. We have this one coming from the GS Facebook page. This person, Young Hacker, has been suffering from 12 years of bad sight. But after the prayers of the man of God tonight, the 12 years of bad sight disappear and now he can see clearly and this one is coming from Bayelsa State, Yenogua precisely. She is testifying that she had a nail pierced her right leg while on duty. This resulted to an excruciating pain for about a year now but today she felt the power of God descended on her and the pain completely disappeared. We are going to go to Kubwa Abuja for a life testimony, but let's take this one coming all the way from France. And then he says, He says he had a back pain, pain on the back for a long time, but just tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, the pain in the back and in the body is gone and gone forever in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. And now we go to Kubwa in Abuja, the FCT for a live testimony. Abu the Lord. I, I say praise the Lord. The God of wonders is doing wonders in this location. And by the grace of God, God has done something in this location. This is Deeper Life Campus Fellowship Beulah Center, Kubwa Region, Abuja, Nigeria. And by the grace of God, we have a very striking testimony of this young boy standing here. Actually, he has he had paralysis. He couldn't walk well. As you can see, he has this walking aid, which he has been using for a long time now. And he was here on the first day of this program. He walked into the church with a walker. And um, during the prayer of the man of God, we believed. And the prayer was done. And they went home. And the next day, the second day of this program, uh, we were just in the church and clapping and singing. And he walked into the church without the walker. Praise the Lord. 
put your hands together for the, to the glory of the Lord. He walked into the church without a worker. And I want to give the mic now to the Father to tell us how it all began. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sunday Ujumu. By the special grace of God, I'm a legal practitioner based here in Abuja. This is my son, Tuluani, SS1 student. And uh, on the first day, he prompted me that, look, daddy, let's come to this crusade. I was hesitant. I insisted. So I had no choice than to come with him here. So the first day we left after the prayer of Gio. But the following day, which was on the 6th of uh, November, that Friday, after dressing up in the morning, getting to set for the morning, he, he said, that. But Pastor Kumu said that you should throw out, throw away the worker, arise and walk. I said, yes, that's what he said. He said, and all of a sudden, before you say, I saw him standing up wow. and started walking. And since that day, he has dispensed with this worker. I was just watching and see if I'm, am I really, <laughs> is this a film or reality or whatever? Started working since that day without this worker. Praise see the Lord. Hallelujah. Right. So we want to see him walk now. Now on your own, walk to your seat. Walk to your seat. Walk to your seat. Walk to your seat. The Lord will do it permanently in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. From the GS official Facebook page, we have Anita Cambra, who said he had been suffering from halitosis. Halitosis is a situation, a health situation, where you have a bad odor and very bad breath. And these had lasted for a long time. But tonight, after the prayer of the servant of God, all of those symptoms completely gone, and he's healed. Praise the Lord. And now we return to the state of us here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ubo mutu mabasi. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's close our eyes for prayers as we bring tonight's program to a close. Heavenly Father, we thank and bless your name this night. We appreciate you for your supernatural touch we've experienced in this crusade across the world. Thank you, Lord, for your servant that you have used to bring relief, to bring healing, to bring deliverance to those that have been passing through the torturing of Satan. Jesus Christ, we pray that all those that have testified and all those that are yet to testify, the things you have done in our lives tonight, they shall remain permanent in Jesus' name. Lord, as we be going back, I pray that you will lead your children safely home. We bring your servant before you, Lord. Our prayer is that you will strengthen him the more. You will anoint him the more. You will refresh his life the more. That tomorrow, as we gather together again at your feet, great will be the outpouring of your blessings through him upon our lives and upon everyone that connects to this program in the globe in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for answers to prayers. In Jesus' awesome name, we have prayed. And let the people of God say a big amen. Tomorrow is the grand finale. Make sure you invite your friends. 
invite your colleagues invite those you're working together come tomorrow with great expectation and the lord will not disappoint you in jesus name good night the lord bless you and be with you all in jesus name for those that have not been able to testify today please we'll give you opportunity tomorrow to share your testimony with the body of christ god bless you